Just concepts about passing guard. Uh, all of them easy. Okay. When you're passing the guard, your objective is to stay on top and improve your position. Stay on top, improve your position. The reason why I say that, it's much easier for your brain to process, stay on top, improve, stay on top, improve, instead of inside, outside, how low, now, half guard, oh, yeah, knee, okay, that's way too much. Stay on top, improve your position, okay? We get in here, and look, my back is arched, look, I go here, I step in, okay? He's got his foot on the hip, maybe he grabs the sleeve. That doesn't mean I can't grab here. And look, he's trying to push me away, I need to keep walking it in. From here, look, my hand is on his shin. What I'm gonna do is I apply the pressure, I step back and over and I sit, okay? And I sit right here, so I wanna be stable. My head's gotta be up. My objective is to be stable, but at the same time, give options, okay? For the first option, what we did was that I put my, his gi together, and I'm applying pressure here, okay? So that I can get a control of his knee on the outside here, and I'm going to do this. I'm gonna rock kinda, just so I have stability with my fist in his chest. My foot steps here, here, and then I kick back. My hand pushes it across. And then I go into my X pass, okay? I go in here, he's got, look, I gotta get anchor myself here. If I don't, then he's got me kinda like a puppy. I don't want that, okay? He's got a foot on my hip. He'll be pushing his back to give himself a good angle at that daily heave up. I can step back here, here, take a deep step, sit. Post one, hand on his knee here, okay? I need to step up, kind of on the same line, here, kick. And then preferably even to this position here, and you have a side control, okay? So that's the one option for the X-Pass. However, <clears throat> if you ever watch <clears throat> Rafael Lovato do this, it's very important to leave yourself options. Because if he holds my heel, okay, I'm not gonna be able to kick my leg back. Sometimes they hold your heel. If you apply the right type of pressure here, so we're here, his foot on the hip, grab the sleeve, okay? I anchor myself here, as I'm walking in this way. Sometimes you can break that grip, sometimes you can't. In the first option, he did not hold my heel. In the second option, he's holding my heel because he's really committed. My objective number one is to kill that Dele Hiva hook because <clears throat> he's gonna be pushing me back with his foot to get that in there, push this off, and it's the same thing that applies here, and I sit. But he still really is committed to that hand on the heel, okay? What I need to do is this. I need to be stable up here, drive my hips in, and I need to put pressure on this knee here with my head up, okay? So that here, I can push it across, hold my uh, heel with the left hand, okay? And I'm gonna carefully drop this knee down because if he holds my heel, he will get wrist lock. Right here, okay? So here, I'm folding him over. My hand can go to this knee here, and I bring my left knee in, here, roll the hip, 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 and I'm here, okay? So this is the second option, because it's very common that once they're committed to this outside hook, they're gonna keep that heel. <clears throat> and what they want is, they wanna be able to turn you sideways. He pushes here, okay? Because as he's hooking here, okay, and he turns this way, he can grab my belt, okay? He can kind of pull me this way, he can get this, he'll let go here, he'll scoop in here, and now he's got a back pain. <clears throat> and it's bad news for me, because he turned me around. How he turned me around is because he kept pulling the heel, not even the kill, yeah, the heel. If he pulls the heel, I'll turn. This way they grab the belt, okay? This leg goes inside of here, he extends here, extend your leg, and he takes it back. Hook one, hook two. From here, problem for me. I don't want that. So I need to kill that outside hook. <clears throat> so we're here, here, immediately grab here, here, that, 
step, step here, hip. And then, I, yeah, see, he has to let go. So here, I'm gonna fold his knees over. And when he's folded, very difficult. He's got no leverage, he's got no power. From here, hand is on his knee, over here, and I'm gonna roll the hip. I'm not going to just pop up. Because if I pop up, I'm here. If I just do this, it's like to free, butterfly, anything, and then he gets back into a guard. I don't want him to do that, okay? So when you get here, okay, your hips will drop, control the head here, and your right hand can replace your hip. I'll bring my knee in so I can walk it back, and I'm rolling the hip, and I pass. Make sense? Let's try it. One, two, three. Okay. Now the bottom person holds that heel with the left hand. <clears throat> so that when the top person drops their knee to the right, do it slowly because that wrist is locked to the foot, to the to the heel. <clears throat>